In this class, we will cover the topic of how to develop the dynamic web applications with database. The slides are adapted from the database man management course at UC Berkeley. In this class, we will cover the three main questions. The first one is, why do we use a database system for web applications? The second question is, what systems are available for us to use? And the last question says, what is the advantages and disadvantages of uh, the web database system? We we'll start with the first one. Why do we need a database system? As we know that a simple website, for example, a home page, would not need the database system because it would just be a static HTML website. So in that case, like uh, the client uh, will browse to the uh, address from the internet. And when he click on the link, he will make the request to the web server. The web server will uh, navigate to the file system and get the, get the information and send the response. In order to add the dynamic content to the website, we can use a CGI script to access the data files to create a dynamic content. So in the previous class, we will introduce about CGI scripts. So I would not uh, give more detail about CGI script in this class. So back to the architecture, the client send a request to the web server from the internet. And what does in the server side, the CGI scripts are executed. It will request, it will access the data from files, generate the content, and then send a response. However, if we use this, uh, if we use this uh, kind of applications, there are certain limitations that we need to be aware of. The issues are with the performance, the scalability, maintenance, data integrity, and transaction support. First, for the performance issues. The first thing about the performance is the CGI script executions is slower than the uh, compiled programs. And starting the CGI applications will take time for each connection. If we have multiple users and multiple um, connections at the same time, there will be, the performance will be very slow. The second issues with the, these kind of applications is the scalability. That if the data file becomes bigger and bigger, and then the script that worked with the previous uh, smaller data file may not work. The second issues in the scalability in related to scalability is each user connect to the C to the server using a CGI script. Each copy of the pro CGI program is created for each user and that is not a scalable option. For the maintenance, when the data of the when the data of the uh, uh, file that is accessible by the CGI script change, that means the script uh, will also need to be rewritten. And the second disadvantage is the programs must ensure that the data from all the files remain synchronized. And another, another, another important reason um, for um, maintenance being an issue is uh, it involves the dealing with data integrity issues. For data integration, 
uh, for data integrity constraints, the constraint that we would to impose impose in order to protect the database from becoming inconsistent. So the database constraints are are imposed on the attribute on the entities and the ref referential integrity. Another, another important uh, support for uh, a web applications is on a transaction. So just imagine that let's say if we have a banking system and uh, multiple users we perform a transaction with the system at the same time. So, so the banking system must support the concurrency control. And the transactions uh, on the database, it should be ACID, that means the atomic, consistent, isolated, and durable. So the first questions that we uh, have addressed is why do we need a database system? So for all the five issues that we address, the database system uh, can provide uh, solutions for all of them on the performance, scalability, maintenance, data integrity, and transaction support. Most of the commercial database with, uh, support the five uh, points we discussed. In the, in the uh, web application, if we use a DBMS, then this is the architecture. So when the, when the web server receives the request from the client, it will interact with the DBMS system. By interacting with the DBMS system, it can create or manage the database for the application. The second question we're going to ask today is the what database system available? So there are many databases available for a web application and the decisions are like which database system to select depends on the uh, specific requirement of the applications. So first, what is the size of the application? Is it a small scale website or does, is it going to scale up to like millions or billion users? Most of the time, the size of the um, application play the key, uh, the key role in the selection. The The hardware and the OS platforms also uh, play the uh, play the role in the applications. That uh, what kind like uh, another important features that we need to look at is like what kind of data model you're gonna use and what kind of operations uh, you are looking for in the web applications. Uh, is it, are you going to use the uh, query language, structure query language? Are you working on a path or full text uh, search? And what kind of securities? For the desktop database systems, we have like uh, the old system like uh, Access, uh, Fox Pro or Excel or Files. So these are the choices that allows the uh, allow us to create a small uh, web applications uh, easily. So these uh, these desktop databases are usually less like, simple to set up and inexpensive. However, it will not scale to a very large number of users. 
and uh, it may it may not have the uh, support for multi-user environment. Another class of uh, database systems is for enterprise. So for enterprise database system, we have uh, many choices supported by uh, uh, Microsoft uh, with uh, SQL Server, uh, Oracle, um, uh, DB2. So these uh, servers are powerful and available in many uh, configurations. However, they uh, will be very expensive and Using the uh, database option, option for enterprise, they can be very complex to set up and, uh, and uh, expensive. However, the, the advantage of that is that it will uh, scale to a very large number of users or very uh, large uh, database size. Usually, these uh, enterprise database support uh, transactions and log management and for the applications of where they they usually support uh, many uh, languages like BHP or Java or, or Perl. Besides the uh, enterprise database sub, uh, system, we also have uh, free database servers, and these are op uh, these are usually like open source. For example, like MySQL or PostgreSQL. So these systems are free, but um, under that there there is no customer support. But you can find a lot of good uh, advices and t or tutorials from uh, the uh, community. The these uh, database. These databases have uh, big advantages that is it is inexpensive, it's free. Uh, and uh, it can also be scaled to a large number of users or large database, but you will need to have the technical background in order to do it yourself. The there is also another category of uh, database servers which is uh, embedded into the web applications. Uh, one uh, example of that is uh, Sleepy Cat DB. Uh, it, um, it, uh, it is a key value store. It is not a relational database. It is a key uh, value store and it is open source. Now it is acquired by uh, Oracle and uh, was renamed as Berkeley DB. So this uh, sleepy cat will require the programming experience to in order to uh, install and then embed it into your applications. For the embedded database, obviously it must be embedded in the into your applications, and uh, it can be in it can be incorporated into a scripting language. It is inexpensive for non-commercial application. For the scalability, it may be scaled to a very large number of uh, users or uh, database, but it uh, dep depends on how it is used. All of these uh, databases, they offer certain levels of uh, security support. Like uh, some may support uh, security over the views or the sub schema. By that, they create the uh, authorization rules to identify the users and the action they can perform. Um, some systems also provide uh, encryption and authentication scheme to um, authorize the access. So the views. Views is defined as a subset of the database that is a store in the query. For example, you can create a view by 
uh, defining a view definition. The authorization rules specify uh, who can ac who can have what kind of access on what kind of data. Usually, the access is based on the table basis using the grant or revoke as well command. Some system can also provide the um, a final grant authorization on the sale instead of the uh, table. Uh, one example of that is uh, Oracle. It supports the access on the sale value. Database also uh, provides support for backup and uh, recovery. Like most of them uh, will support a checkpoint uh, facility, facility and recovery manager. So those are the uh, uh, database server that you can use in the application server. For the application uh, server, in the previous class we know about the BHP and ASP and actually most of the uh, server-side scripting languages or programming languages can uh, be used in web application server. The first one is like uh, BHP. It is very common, it is very popular in the open source uh, community. And usually it is uh, paired with uh, MySQL and then uh, you and, and uh, Apache. So uh, the three of them um, are included in the bundle that uh, you can get it from SAM, MAM. The whole bundle is free and it can support in um, both Windows and Unix system. BHP syntax usually it is embedded within the uh, HTML page. With uh, it starts with the uh, opening tags, uh, and then uh, closing tags. It inc include most of the programming structure that you can uh, programming with, and it can interact with the form so that uh, you can. Uh, extract the value from the client request. In order to access the database within the BHP, you will need to connect to um, uh, JDBC. So JDBC is the interface that uh, allows us to connect and manage our database system. In order to use MySQL, you will need to use uh, My MySQL will provide uh, the interface and in you include that into your system. In order to uh, manage or connect to the data, you will need to first, you need to execute the command MySQL connect to the local host from the user root. After connecting to the system, you will need to select which database to choose. The, re the result of the query will be returned from the MySQL query command. Within this command, you provide the query, the, the SQL query, and the database you will be executed. So this is the code to be included into your program in order to query the database. Similar to BHP, uh, ASP is also another server-side scripting language that can work with uh, Microsoft products, for example, like, like BASIC or um, or .NET. The syntax of ASP is, is also similar that like there will be like opening and closing tag. So within the opening and closing tag, you put the code for uh, con connecting uh, to the database, opening the database, and then execute the queries. So I have 
uh, presented to you like the three questions. Why do we need a database system? What kind of database system available for us? And the last is like, um, uh, how do we use the, how do we uh, connect to the database system from the exit, uh, from the um, uh, program scripting language like BHP or ASP? Uh, 